on live and I am live. Lovely, nice to meet you. My name is Julie and I am an adult content creator, erotic photographer, and this video will be about threesomes, okay? Don't have much time, so I will go straight away to questions. So I had this guy who noticed that I am talking about uh, adult fantasies and they wanted to ask about threesomes. He is in a couple uh, and he is asking these questions. How would you explain the phenomenon of overwhelming intensity of threesome experience with some partners and having absolutely no interest in others? There will be more questions, but um, how to say that is a very interesting question. And uh, how many times I would uh, communicate with clients about uh, certain erotic fantasies, photo shoots, I will tell you. There is no questions asked about technical stuff, you know, about how I do posing, directing, or, you know, what I'm doing in the studio. There is no uh, questions related to, to me directly as a professional. There are all questions related to an emotional state of that couple, you know, of their problems, of their issues. And they want the photographer to solve these issues. And very good that I have a medical background and I'm actually passionate about psychology and all those stuff. And I'm I'm able to give my re response to the best knowledge, okay? So what I think about overwhelming intensity uh, during the threesome experience. So I know that there are many couples who are looking for such adventures. And what they're doing is they're looking for uh, couples out outside the zone, in the clubs, in the pubs, in the, you know, on the holidays and stuff. That's happening. You know that it's true. Okay, and that means inevitably you are meeting a new person and and uh, how to say focusing on the stranger. Okay, so what happens in general in a personality or in a human on the human level is that we are all the same, but there is one gene, okay, which separates us. Okay, one gene, right? And that one gene uh, is responsible. I'm talking about my opinion here. Yes. And of course, there is many information science based, but one gene is responsible for our sexuality, for our sexual marker. Okay, that is that thing, uh, how we get uh, connected, that thing, uh, that how we get um, attracted and get matched with some person. That is the thing, how we know even beforehand, you know, that it is possible uh, the kissing and the sex with that. Um, um, stranger let's say right or not you actually evaluate this and you know even before you know you met that person you know about that person you 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 spoke about that person so this is something what we subconsciously evaluate in our brain okay and it comes from that gene uh, and uh, how to say an experience come from the many generations before you it's not only about you to be fair okay so that's how we um, how to say specify our uniqueness okay so um, if i'll speak about the woman for example from from the woman point of view the woman knows very well with which guy uh, which guy she's fancy and which guy she wants to be okay just by the look of it okay and uh, and what psychologists is saying that if she will mate or have a family with the guy she don't want to be, the, the children will be um, invalids or whatever stuff. That is the science-based information. That's not coming from me. But that's how, how I heard. Okay, so um, that is what's happening uh, with, with that couple, okay? And with that particular person, with that particular guy, okay? So he has got attracted to certain, uh, uh, how to say, criteria that he is matching to and not necessarily those criteria have to match with your partner, okay, to have that threesome. So that is, uh, how to say, that the problem, right? So if you fancy that uh, personality of that person, not necessarily that your partner feels the same, okay, because that one gene defines okay, who they want to be and who they sexually feel attracted to, okay? So that is the problem. About the overwhelming intensity, I can tell you this, okay, why you feel this way. And then again, this is my perspective, is that, uh, you know, you're trying to attract, 
okay, or pull someone out of your league, okay? Just imagine that, okay? And then it happens, okay? And then it happens. And of course, you feel overwhelmed because you don't know, you know? It's like, how to say, it's like getting into the party and getting a full-on buffet for free, yes? So you don't know which, you know, which dish to grab, what to do, and, you know, how to say, you want to overeat and and those kind of a thing. So of course it's too much for you, right? It's too much. It's not. Uh, it's not something that, uh, uh, how to say, uh, normally you would have. You know, you would have probably one, one uh, starter, one uh, you know like a main and and one dessert, right? And, and 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 that person is maybe ten desserts and 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 um i had to say and you experience so many fantasies with that person already it's pushing your buttons it's pushing your limits and uh, that's something what what happens during that overwhelming process okay and like i say you maybe will be overwhelmed and your partner will be yeah okay your spouse will be like yeah fine you know like not doing much for me right Okay, so that's the thing. And another thing is the the sexuality, okay? Because people still, you know, it's maybe ridiculous to define people by sexuality and, and say, oh, one is straight, one is bi bisexual, one is gay, and, and so on. But this is the reality, okay? And, and so, um, how to say, we have as well feminine and masculine side inside us. Okay, and and that is also matters. Okay, during that choice, during that um, uh, how to say evaluation. Okay, so these things uh, come come into account. That's why people have a lot of emotions and a lot of feelings and a lot of things going on during when they think about the threesome. It's quite a complicated experience for 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 mature people, and it is so easy for um how to say for young people because they do not have this in their head okay they, they they just gathering the information about the life okay so usually all these considerations and all these thoughts are happening when you are in a mature age okay when you have thought about this when you you know how to say you, you already develop some information you have some base okay and then uh, there are some different uh, unique things, you know, what were, were unique to you, okay? And then you will see that those things does not match with the people around you. And then you have this question. But <clears throat> overwhelming and intensity during the threesome is, is usually, yes, because you emotionally, you feel, um, like I say, most of the time it's not your ride, you know? most of the time or you having this right uh, you know once in your life you know usually i can even compare this to the situation when um you know young guys when they book a shoot and they pay money they how to say the the value or the performance they bring on during the studio is for, w worth every penny okay and so you know that he is uh, how to say using you know, when the mature people book a model, for example, yes, the shoot is relaxed and everything is, you know, how to say, uh, in a different vibe, in a different pace, you know, everything in a different way. That's why I, I like to work with mature people more, you know, because I am that generation. But when I see young people book it, you know, and I little bit even how to say... Um, stay aside when it comes to booking a model i let them to bring a model or let them in because i know they will use every minute of that time you know no seriously you know what i'm talking about right so not every model you know how to say is there to 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 give that much you know like the young generation would, would want yes so I hope I explained a little bit about the partners uh, booking or how to say looking for that threesome um, person, individual, and why they feel, uh, how to say, um, differently towards the same person and why they, how to say, even, even if the looks are there and the energy are there they do not f feel any sexual um, desires and don't have any anything going on in their you know in their mind and anywhere else because uh, they don't they don't want that person 
Okay, they don't want that energy. They they do not connect with that person. They 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 there is no sexual spark, sexual impulse. That's how people, for example, go on the dating. Okay, they go on the dating and they experience the same thing. Okay, with uh, some people it, it 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 works straight away and and they feel sexual attraction. No matter they want, you know, how to say maybe a casual something, you know, even one stand something, right? But they want, they know that they want, right? And with some people you meet, like, you know, there is nothing in there. There is, you know, how to say it, blank, blank page, okay? So that is normal, okay? Because we, like I say, we have that one, one specific, specific identifier, okay? And it, it doesn't have to match with everyone, okay? If you are, especially if you are wired to yourself, okay, connected with yourself so well, it's really hard to find someone who would truly, you would say truly matches you, okay? Because you developed yourself to a certain level. It's That's why people, the, the more mature, the more clever they become, that's why they stay longer, you know, or they wait for the certain person, a partner. They do not jump into certain, you know, how to say relationship. That's why they are more wiser on, on that end, okay? And like I say, the more mature you get, you take one decisions, and the younger you get, you maybe do not experience those uh, problems that much, okay? You could just, you know, you get that sexual energy, those hormones are kicking in, and you can, you know, climb on anyone, and you do not, you do not, evaluate oh i am you know i'm on the high level of attraction or, or not on the high level of the attraction you're actually doing it for your own needs you know for for like that you know so i'm um, i'm saying there is a difference there is a difference in age in human age and different in in development sexual you know development and there is a a difference when you understand yourself so well that uh, you can define very quickly which matches a person and you can invite for threesome and which not matches. The problem is that, like I understand, the couple has a different opinion when they when they organize the threesome. Some you know, some like and some don't like and and that doesn't have to match in the couple and you you know you you united in a different way not necessarily you have to be on the united and the same opinion with your spouse or with your you know husband partner during the threesome you actually need to find the compromise and need to find the the basis or uh, how to say agreement on certain things you know because to be turned on ident identically on the same person is uh, you know it's not for everyone and, and woman is much more able to fake and, and and stuff so i hope i gave you some you know point of view about why some people in a threesome you know create certain things and and uh, and why some don't <laughs> okay here in the studio i can tell you this the threesome experience is is uh, is uh, there is also two directions to go. There is a budget experience, okay? P people just want to try and to see how it is for themselves, okay? And budget experience means they're getting a budget. They don't don't have a choice, okay? They don't have money. They don't have a choice. And I when I present my services, I very much look into quality of experience, you know, like I'm a professional photographer to, to make that experience easy to follow and easy to go. I design, I direct, I, I pose, I light, I tell them what to do. That's the thing what I do. It's a lot of it's a lot of on when do, two people are arriving, have no clue. Okay, and then the model is here to direct three people, you know, to, to create a very good from from uh, from beginners to create a content that you know will be interested to look to watch and and will be sexual and and inspiring and how to say hold on it's a lot of work okay so i concentrate on that topic okay i do not concentrate do they fancy or do not they fancy i always say you're not gonna marry 
that model okay and that model is here to help you to make that fantasy and if you do not have money you have no choice okay it's just simple as that i don't you know, I don't care, you know, I'm not going to go and look for the one you fancy. I don't really care. I don't have time. You're not paying for that. Okay. So there are models who are absolutely perfect to fit in, into that environment, to make you comfortable, to make you relax. I don't care if you don't like her blonde or brunette. I don't care if you don't like this. And seriously, I don't care. And there is another part, okay, which, um, which is for, VIP clients, okay? So they pay, okay? They pay for this factor, okay? And because they pay for this factor, of course, I give choice of the models and I advise. And of course, they have a sexy ones, which they get turned on straight away. And that sexy one, you know, because it gets paid really well, it will jump on the clients and it will create those fantasies they want. So I always say, you know, this is important, okay? This is adult business. This is not a charity organization, okay? And the models who are coming here to create those things on camera and on film for you to come back to, to memorize and have this experience, they have to pay, they have to be paid well, okay? They, they, they have to be paid well. I'm not doing here just so you can have fun, okay? If I have a professional models who are there 100% guaranteed to show up, guaranteed to create any no limit fantasy okay you you know you have to show me your pocket how big it is okay so then you will have a choice very often i have this problem okay people think oh i have a thousand pound and they yeah, they think they have a very big budget you know yesterday i spoke with one couple okay where free some turn into foursome okay and the foursome ideas i will be talking about in a different video so i'm talking about and they're like oh we are in barbados and this wife has this fantasy and we are a mature couple i'm like okay and then they say me this thing. So basically this wife will have, would like to try a photo shoot with a male model and he would like uh, a female model, but the female model should be bisexual so that they can have a, a threesome together. And they, and they telling me that they have 1000 budget. Okay. And I am saying, do you know how much it costs to hire? And I'm showing the models and they were like, wow, wow, amazing models. And then, you know, you must understand that this model will go and have a date, okay, without any camera in the face and, and, and filming, you know, uh, close up, uh, how to say, penetration uh, scenes for a thousand, five thousand, you know, whatever, okay? So this is a very good deal I'm giving anyway, you know, hiring and arranging those models and having those sexy people, you know, out there, right? And people think that, you know, how to say, what they are paying for two models okay hiring two models they want to have a photo shoot for two hours i say in general this project will take me around seven to ten hours because i need to arrange i need to prepare i need to shoot for two hours and then the post-production will be between seven hours you know because if you're shooting two hours and it's going to be film videos and the photography it will be around 300 500 pictures okay there will be movie stills Okay, there will be, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 minutes of footage at least because I would just split session into half and half. Okay, so you need to actually create like really exciting videos and things and everything, you know, they, they just think that they come and, and they pay for those two hours and, and then I don't know, I don't know, people are, you know, seriously. So like I'm saying, the appetite grows, the, 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 the more I discuss those ideas, the more they want, you know, for that 1000. So threesome, okay, can I just inquire? I have so many questions about the threesome and then threesome become a foursome, okay? And somehow in their mind, okay, it's how to say, they do not evaluate this, you know, how to say in, in, a, in a money format, right? They just think that this can happen because they, you know, because they want it, right? Okay, so very often, okay, this is a very big mistake because how to say when you have a budget, okay, you don't have a much of a choice, okay? No, seriously, you don't. 
you should be appreciating that you are actually will be visiting the studio and making this stuff okay and there will be models who will arrive and 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 then you know what happened and then he sent his wife pictures and he was like oh my wife is in early 50s and it's good you know it's good because bisexual models and in general models they do care with who they shoot okay they do care no seriously because the models you know they also like aesthetics they also like looks okay and there are girls for example bisexual girls who will ask me send me that uh, client's picture and i will tell you i will shoot with her or not they also want to fancy and like those clients so imagine when i saw the pictures of the clients i thought you know what you have to pay five times that that you would have a shoot with those sexy models okay first you lied okay because i am in my early 50s okay and you're saying this grandma is early 50s first you lie about the age okay she is not i understand that people have this fantasy and eventually they decide to try something right and and um, and when when is it to try okay when is it to try okay people how to say soon gonna see the christ you know and and there is a time to actually how to say to create those fantasies so i understand and i am here to assist and help okay but when it comes to erotic photo shoot people lie often to me okay seriously they lie about reasons they lie about age they lie about everything it's just so disgusting because i am open-minded and i'm honest person i would never judge okay but they think that i cannot you know evaluate if she's 70 years old you know or she is 50 years old i can't okay and for the model it is a very big difference no seriously because this is not me with this clients i am just taking a technical stuff and i'm filming but i'm arranging so how would I say to the model that she is in her early 50s and she, the, the grandma is coming? And I am absolutely fine with shooting mature people. I love, okay, mature people. They, they need more work, of course, okay? But it's better than young because young, you know, want to push the but buttons and, and, and cross the boundaries and act crazy very often. So mature people listening to me, okay, in the studio, they, they, they more, how to say, following the rules, following the, the, the direction and stuff. But uh, be honest, because if I book a model for a certain age clients and then, you know, how to say the model is not aware, and 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 then i will be the liar and i don't want to be in that position okay because i am thankful that these models are here to help okay and i'm here to assist okay next question would you advise having somebody known to when venturing out to play a threesome game this is two different situations okay someone you know it means that you will have a regular threesomes okay it means that you are grooming the person it means that you are preparing the person okay threesome with someone you know okay usually people how to say and when they're coming for a photo shoot okay they're meeting a model the first time okay so it is not possible but i can tell you there were many clients many clients who would ask oh can model arrive earlier so we can meet her in or him in the hotel can we have a dinner before the photo shoot the day before the photo shoot or can we take you and the models uh, to the bar for uh, drinks there are many clients who would like to meet model before and i can tell you there are just few who met i'll tell you why because the model are in adult business this is their job okay they have to pay for the model to go and meet them to have a dinner for those two hours or to have a drinks and they also have to meet me i'm not doing this for a charity or for fun this is my job okay and very often clients are confused they think that oh i'll just go around and have a drink with that one and have a drink with that one have a drink that i don't have time no seriously i don't have time for this so yes the, the, i understand i understand because 
like I say, the first question was very important, that factor, okay? You fancy or you're not fancy, but then you again ask yourself a reason why you're doing this. If your reasons are being a young and hormonal, so you most likely don't care, you know, which 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 model is there, you know, at least if, if you say it's sexy, it's fun, uh, that's most of the time, okay, it's enough, this information. Then I send pictures and I always send pictures, okay? It, it, it's never like you, you, you're booking a model threesome and you're having a blind uh, date. No, no, you, you see the model before, okay? Th that's always like that. But I'm just saying, you know, if you are doing this as a couple and you're doing and arranging it for yourself and you're doing it yourself, so of course it's much easier to meet people before, okay, to have dates before, you know, to, to, to know each other and stuff. But then you're m making a base, a ground for cert certain, you know, more, um, I have to say, more substantial, more long term. So you need to ask yourself why you are doing this. If you want to have a constant, you know, long-term thing, then yes, of course, of course. Okay, the, the one I stand on, a casual something can grow into something like that. It's like dating, again, you know, you're having the date, you're having a thrill. What's happening with that threesome, okay? What's happening? I'm again explaining you. The hormones will kick in. You will be nervous, you will be excited, You you will be sexually um, stimulated, okay, in the way you're not stimulated on the, you know, on the daily basis. That's why people are doing this. Why you need the stimulation? To stay younger. Look at me. Look at me, okay? Look at me. Yeah, I, you know, I am surrounded by this sexual content because I am a creator, okay? I make erotic videos, I make erotic uh, pictures. I'm constantly looking at them, not because I like the porn and stuff. I need to edit them, okay? And I need to produce certain blogs, certain, you know, things. So I'm constantly working with this sexual content, okay? And it's, it's inevitably, it, it's, you know, it's not consciously, but subconsciously it, it has an effect. It has an effect. Okay, and when I say my son, all this is 25, everyone is shocked. Okay, no, they are, and that's why you can look at someone like Cher. Of course, the celebrities had a lot of procedures and operations, I'm not there yet, but I'm just saying the sexual information in your, in your body has to circulate, has to. Uh, be renovated and you are responsible for your sexual health and sexual fantasies is just something what is related to your sexual health that's why we having this conversation in the first place okay why it is important okay why is it why is it bothering you why you want to try this okay it's like children and sugar children and sugar you stop giving them sugar they get obsessed about you know this sugar thing and 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 you blocking constantly and you're not allowing oh this not allowed this not allowed this not allowed and you know they can eat then if you allow them they can eat that sugar you know how to say a bucket there is a a, a day when they can eat a bucket and it's in november you know that day halloween okay so um what i would advise personally personally if i would go into threesomes and if that would be my threesome, of course, of course, I would, I would look for something long term. If that would be me, okay. But if I'm doing just to please my partner, okay, right? Then I, you know, I don't care. It can be a stranger, a sexy stranger. But what I'm saying is, care about the partner. What we're doing here in the, in the, in in uh, in my studio. There are five love languages. You know that, yes. So there is what touching, right? So there is touching, right? There is caring, okay? There is a quality time, right? I, I am telling you, everything what I will bend here, it, it goes into this experience, okay? Everything what I'll, I'll put, I'll write it down in the post. Everything what is love languages and, and caring and, and being together goes into erotic photo shoot experience with your partner, threesome or whatever kind of a fantasy you would choose, okay? It covers that. 
Okay, so if I would do this for my partner, then he would uh, have this fantasy. Because very often I can tell you, people think that they will get hooked. People think that they, that's it, you know, they will try and they will stay this, you know, stay this with them forever. No. I know very people who will try one time and, and forget about this topic, okay? I know that. I know that people, for example, a couple will book a threesome we'll book a threesome and then and i can see that the partner is getting so jealous so jealous that this threesome not happening and they have most passionate passionate sex ever you know in the studio without you know how to say a model and things so many things can happen it's very important what are your reasons what is your situation where are you coming from why are you doing it okay so the next question is Planning versus winging it. What's the game plan and the idea to play? Please help us to tune in as not sure where to find it. Okay, so planning. Planning, winging it. Seriously, I can tell you how I'm doing it. Okay, freestyle. That's how I'm doing. It's because I feel professional and confident at what I do, okay? I don't need to see this couple's pictures. I don't need to know them. I don't need an introduction. I don't care, okay? I am on the spot right here. The, the couple arrives, okay? Of course, we had this con consultation and some kind of like a communication, so I have a feel about people, right? And of course, they booked the model which they expressed the the requirements and they fancy that model right so there is a halfway there okay and then i am doing it everything you know on the go on the go you need to know how you feel okay what's the point of planning it if the person is not there you understand I can plan, it happened to me many times. I would plan one scenario, the moment we go into the studio, everything goes upside down, okay? And we're shooting totally different thing, okay? So there is no planning for me, okay? And that is the only way I can tell you is the best way, okay? If someone more conservative and want to, you know, feel that the life is in control and they want to plan something. And again, I can see there is different people, okay? There are people who are, doing a photo shoot, sending the brief, and you can see that they planned this out. You know, they they did so much work. They they checked everything, the posing, they checked the toys, they checked, you know, like all kind of outfits. They checked, there are people who are freaks, okay? OCD, freaks to be clean, you know, and everything has to be on their, you know, shelves and all this. With the artist, and I am considering my artist, this is a messy mind, okay? There is a messy universe, okay? There is a messy mind. And, and, and there is also, how to say, there is also, um, how to say, in the messy mind, there is that factor which people will see and understand how they should go and how they should lead. And the only, the only thing what I'm listening to is my gut, okay? So what if I would have a plan, like, let me tell you, I have a plan for a, for a deep throat, for example, yes? I have a plan and the next scene is going to be the deep throat. Not feeling it. Maybe she has a soft throat. Maybe he is, he is too thick. Maybe something that, there is so many things. Okay, so what that I have a plan, okay? The scene is not passionate. There is no energy created. There is nothing. No one is enjoying it. So what that I have a plan? So what is the end of the photo shoot is the goal? That I would have a proper content, proper material, not to achieve my plan, okay? But I need to be turned on on every, you know, scenario, on every set that I'm shooting. And I need to know that this is real, not acting out and people are pushing their limits. My computer is dying and I hope that enough of information about the threesomes today Thank you so much, everyone who's listened to me and uh, till the next time, right? Sorry, I need to run and uh, I don't have a charger now. So love you, kiss you, mean it. Bye. Okay, ending here.